Hello and welcome to another Make a Difference, Make a Fortune uh, show. <laughs> it's Rosemary and Night here. How are you doing? So, you had a career where you were successful. You did stuff that made people look to you for guidance. And you thought that you would move into your own business and everything would be f the same. You would speak and everyone would listen. You would hang up your shingle and do what you do. And clients, customers, recruits would beat a path to your door, eager to work with you, hanging on your every word, throwing money at you. And you would ride into the sunset, victorious, successful, profitable, yay, and overnight success. Woo! Yeah, you thought that for a little while until you realized that, well, it's just not working out so well, is it? <laughs> for one, you, act to, you had to actually go find people and invite them to work with you. And sometimes they said no. Other times they completely ignored you. I'm not sure which one is worse. And very occasionally they said yes. Um, at work, when you were at work, they used to come to you because your employer had already done the hard labor of getting out there and pulling them in. You didn't realize this until it was all on you to do it all. For another, you had never had to fully show up as you whilst you were an employee. You had the comfort of a big name behind you. Your employer had built their brand and you just needed to show up and be awesome. No need to get people to know, like, and trust you. They trusted the brand, the company that you worked for. And now you are the brand and you're not so sure that anyone really wants what you have anymore. And so you are hiding, but you don't even realize you're hiding though. You don't realize that you're spending much more time looking for a shortcut to wealth, fame, fortune than you are spending doing the real work that you need to do. You don't call them shortcuts, of course, because it still feels like you're being very, very busy as you try to learn from this person, that person, this book, that book. But all the while you're doing the learning, you're trying to find um, all the while that you're trying to find that, you know, magic bullet type solution to the problem of not enough clients, customers, recruits, whatever. You're not consistently doing the real work because you keep telling yourself that you don't know what the real work is and you think you need to go search it out. But if you're completely honest with yourself, you do know what the work is. You just don't want to do it. <laughs> it seems too hard, basically, and it seems too uh, yeah, uncertain. And so you keep looking for an easier, more certain path. And then you're surprised when nothing happens, when nothing changes. And you're surprised when the easy, more certain path becomes a long, drawn-out, windy road that gets you absolutely nowhere. And you still, you'll still have to do the work. Or you'll have to go to work <laughs> and let someone else do the work for you. And that's fine. The world does need employees. And there ain't nothing wrong with that if that is what you want. But is it what you want? For me, I know that a job is not what I want, and yet for a long time I kept procrastinating on doing the real work, and some days, let me be truthful, I still do. I still keep looking for that easy button. Because I know that number one, I need to daily increase my audience size. So that can mean that I'm increasing my Facebook page likes, or I can be inviting more people to join my mailing list, or I can be getting in front of other people's audiences with my writing and my speaking. Um, I can go to networking events and meet new people. I can do some advertising, but I will warn you that advertising alone is not effective if you've not done this number two thing, which is to daily show up. What do I mean by this? I need to, I personally and you need to daily tell people what you're about. You need, I need to share my message. I need to, to give them a reason why they should work with me. I need to brand myself. I need to invite my people to know, like, and trust me. I need to have my actual face on my Facebook page and so social media profiles everywhere. Not some faceless logo like lots of people do. I need to update my social media presence very regularly with content that expresses again who I am. And I need to create content as well that supports my people that are the people I'm trying to call into my world in getting the result that they want. I need to write articles. I need to write blogs that educate, inspire, entertain. I need to give talks that do exactly the same. I need to stop using the royal, we will help you. We will do this. We will do the other for you. As though I'm still in that big company that I used to work for. No, I can't do that anymore. I need to show up as me boldly. I am a solopreneur. I know that I don't have the funds of my former employer. So it's very much about me showing up daily to br build brand me. <laughs> and number three, Three, the third thing I need to do every single day is I need to daily invite people to work with me in some way or buy my stuff. 
I can't control when people will like me or trust me enough to work with me, but I can certainly keep making the invitation. I have full control over that. And I can ensure that every single time I write or speak or whatever or meet people, then I make that invitation to them. I call them to some kind of an action. The next step with me, what is that? I make the invitation and I let them decide whether to ignore me, to say yes, or to say no. But I can control whether I make that invitation or not. And in order for me to do those three things, you know, build my audience, daily show up, daily invite people, in order for me to do those three things, I just have to choose to do them. (laughs) There is nothing else to it. I just need to do them. I can wait for confidence in my abilities, but that just wastes time. I can wait for the prospects to come and find me because I hung up my shingle, but it doesn't work because they don't know who I am. And I can keep learning and looking for some shortcut, but again, that just wastes time. I just need to do the work. And so do you, every single day. The employee mindset is is not a mindset that will enable you to win at business, okay? It just won't. You can't hide behind anyone. You can't spend time looking for shortcuts and expect to win. You have to consistently do the work, even when you don't know how, even when you feel uncertain that that it will ever work, even when you feel like curling up and hiding somewhere. Every day, you make a choice to show up and do the work. Of course, as you do the work, if you come across a pivot or some other direction that helps you get to where you're going faster, then of course, yes, you take it. But standing still and waiting for that pivot to come show itself to you, oh, seriously, it's just a waste of time. And unless you are the delectable oh, Edward Cullen of the vampire race, you don't have that much time, okay? You don't. So please, please, please just leave behind the employee mindset and join the 5% of people who create success in business by daily facing down their internal nonsense and consistently doing the work. Let's increase that 5% percentage thing, frankly. Let more of us be successful. Let's all be employ- employers, <laughs> Okay. Although I suppose if everybody was an employer, there'd be no need for employees. Woo. I don't know. (laughs) Okay. And instead of just going from one training course to another, reading one book or another book, choose instead to actually work with an actual person, a a coach who will call you out when you're getting distracted by the nonsense of which there is plenty. Okay. So your first step is the deliberate millionaire. Find out more by going to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash deliberate millionaire. And Remember, to fight for, to create the life, the business you want. Of course, if you want to further understand how to get more customers, clients, recruits as an entrepreneur working your business out of your home, then pop on over to rosemarynonunite.com forward slash toolkit and download the free entrepreneur wealth pack now. You ready? Okay then, until the next time, bye.